Hey everyone, today we're gonna create a button in Pygame. Let's first think what a button does so that you have the basic idea what we will be doing in the program, how we'd be coding. So whenever you click a button, click on a button, a certain task is performed, a function is called. So here this function is going to be quit function by Pygame to keep it simple and easy. Whenever I click on that rectangular button on the screen, the program should stop and the Pygame window should go away. Also, I'd like to add in a functionality. Whenever I hover over that rectangular box, over the button, there should be a shade change. There should be a, a slight color change so that I can know, the user can know that right now the cursor is over the button. Cool. So let's start coding. As usual, I would write the basic steps first and then get to the main code. So. Let's import Pygame. I'll write import Pygame. I'll initialize it. I'll write pygame.init. Then I'll set up the screen. I'll write pygame.display.setmode 500 comma 500. That's the screen size. Then I'll also set up a caption. So my caption would be pygame button. And then I'll have my game loop. I'll write while true. For events in pygame.event.get, if events.type equals pygame.quit, I'll call the quit function. And then I'll update this entire thing. I'll write pygame.display.update. So this was the basic code. Now let's get to the main code. Since I want a quit button, I should have quit written over that rectangular box. That would be my button. So for that, I'll use the font module, of course. I need to display the text quit. So for that, I'll write font equals pygame.font.sysfont. And let me take the font Georgia. And the font size to be 40. Let's keep it bold. And then I'll render this over the surface. So I have the surf variable. I'll write font.render. And my message and my text would be quit. And I want anti-alias to be true and then the color of this text let it be white fine then i'll have this button that would act as the rectangular box that that would be my button so i'll initialize its initial position and its size so i'll write pygame.rect that its initial position be 200 comma 200 kind of in the middle of the screen and its size be 110 comma 60 so its width is 110 and its height is 60 fine then i'll fill my screen with some color you can take any color i've taken pink then inside this for loop i'll put in this mouse button function uh, functionality i'll i'll check if my events type is mouse button down if i'm using my mouse and check that my cursor is inside this button this rectangular box okay and uh, how would i do that i'll write if button dot collide point in brackets the argument would be events dot position and then i'll call the quit function i'll write pygame dot quit fine so this is how i checked if my cursor is within this rectangular box is, is over the button and if it is so, if it has been clicked, then I'll call the pygame quit function. Fine. Now, since I wanted to add that color change functionality, that hovering and shading functionality, I'll get my mouse position. I'll get my mouse coordinates, the cursor's coordinates. So I'll write um, a comma b equals pygame dot mouse dot get position. So a would be the x coordinate and b would be the y coordinate. To avoid confusion, I've taken A and B because we'd be already using the X and Y coordinates of my button, that rectangular box. So let's not have any confusion. So my mouse coordinates, the X coordinate of my mouse is A and the Y coordinate of my mouse is B. Fine. Now I'll check if this mouse coordinates, if these mouse coordinates are within my box. So for that, I'll write if button.x, the x coordinate of my rectangular box, is less than equal to a, the x coordinate of my cursor, 
is less than or equal to button dot x which is the x coordinate of my rectangular box plus 110 that is the size of my rectangular box that button fine and also i want the button dot y the y coordinate of my rectangular box to be less than or equal to b the y coordinate of my mouse of my cursor to be less than or equal to button dot y plus 60 so the y coordinate of my rectangular box plus 60 because that's the height fine i hope you can visualize this you understand this and then if it is so i'll draw a rectangle i'll do i'll write pygame.draw.rect and screen is the surface i'm gonna draw on i'll give in this color this is a lighter shade of gray and the rect value is given by button fine and else if it is not so if the cursor is outside this button then i'll give in this color a darker shade of gray that's the default color fine and then i'll get my text on the surface button by using blit so i'll write screen dot blit surf is the surface of the text and this is for having margins for i've done plus five with the buttons initial coordinates so that i have a margin and things don't overlap the text doesn't overlap with the borders okay then i'll update so i've already written that let's run this and see if my button works so now if i run this i can see my quit button and if i hover over this button i see a shade change it's a lighter shade of gray whenever i hover over this my cursor is over this button and if my cursor is outside somewhere not on this button then it's a darker shade of gray cool so if i click on this button the program should stop let's see if that happens yeah so the window went away and uh, the program stopped so i call the quit function using this button you can call any other function you can call in the function to play a song you can call in the function to display a text so this was all of it and i hope you understood how to create a button by game thank you